Hello and welcome to the C++ video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about something called the set width manipulator. Let's say that I have the following requirements. I would like to get a table printed in a nicely formatted way. For example, I would like to have the fields of this table to be printed within a predefined set of spaces. So I'll start off by writing a number of Cout statement to achieve this. So let's say I will print the header of the table first. So I'll use a number of Cout statements for printing the header. And let me just copy and paste the header. And I guess Visual Studio is complaining about Cout because I don't have the include IO stream here. So let me just bring in the IO stream library. And I also use, need the namespace std. So that's going to print the header. Let me just print the content of my, my table. So this is the header of the table and let's just get the content and in the content I basically have uh, three rows now for this what I will do I will do the following so the first part of the table would be this course code followed by the separator and this followed by the course name and this is followed by another separator and this is followed by the mark and again followed by a separator and I have an handle and I'll not print 78 as a string I'll print it as a number uh, because this is actually an integer and I might want later on to use some kind of a variable to represent this and I'll do the same thing for the other three. So here is the Cout statements for the uh, remaining uh, entries of this table. Now let's compile and run this code and see what kind of output we get. So clearly, as you can see in the output, we don't have a nicely formatted table as we are expecting. Uh, so we are getting a really nice header, but as you can see, the body of the table or the content of the table is not as, you know, as nice as we would want it to be. And it's clear, you know, it's clear that why the reason is because as you can see, the length of computer hardware is different from the length of network fundamentals is different from the length of web technologies so each one of these strings has a different length so clearly we are not going to get you know as a nice of a table as we want now you might be inclined to actually do one thing you might be inclined to add spaces here so you might want to say okay let me just put some spaces here and you know this way i will get the formatting that i want well, here's the thing, uh, printing spaces might not be as an effective way to do it because, you know, while this might be possible with strings, how are you going to be doing it with numbers? Are you just going to be printing spaces here? Uh, what if the width of your, you know, integers is not the same? You, sometimes you might have just, uh, you know, a single digit and you're not going to have two digits. So the width, so clearly using spaces is not really a nice option luckily in C++ we have something called the set width manipulator now let me show you how to use the set width manipulator first and then I'll explain to you how you are actually going to or I'll explain to you later on what does set width do so let me just remove these spaces and let me go back to the top of my code and what I will do I'll include a new library here 
and this is going to be now io manip and this is basically for the set width manipulator now set width is a manipulator which is included in the io manip library and that's why i'm including io manip and then let's come down to this table now if you look at this table here what do we do what do we want to do if you look at the string here the course code i want to print the course code basically in eight spaces so in total i have eight spaces to print my you know my course code and this is exactly what i will do so just right before this string here i will add the insertion operator and i will use set w open parenthesis called parenthesis close parenthesis and between this i'll just add eight so you kind of use it as a function this is almost similar to a function call except that it is not a function it's a manipulator because it manipulates how the output looks like and i'll do the same thing for the other lines and i'll do it one more for the last one now let me just run this code and see how does the output look like here's the output of this uh, of this code now as you can see all of these course codes has been printed actually in eight spaces and i'm getting one extra space and this extra space kind of aligns all of the uh, you know uh, this this the first column content you know to the right of this uh, to the right of this column so it's i'm getting a nicely printed uh, column here so i want to do the same thing for the remaining of the table for the remaining of the content so what i will do i'll do the same thing here for the second part of the table which is basically the course name and for this i'll use set width 26 and for the last column i will use set width six so for the grade or for the mark column i will use set width six and again let me just copy paste this thing and let me just run the whole thing and now as you can see I am getting a really nicely formatted table in here and now even if I go and I change the length of any one of these strings I'm still gonna get the same kindly nicely formatted table and not as before so for example let's say that I change this from network fundamentals 1 to network fundamentals 2 now I increase the length of this string but I'm still gonna get it printed in a nicely formatted way so if you run this code again as you can see although that the length of this string has increased the position of this uh, separator has not moved and the reason is because this string has grown kind of towards this way it has grown towards the left and it didn't grow towards the right so how does the set width manipulator looks like this is what i will talk about next so now we have seen an example of set width let's see how it actually works so set width usually works with the c out statement and what it does it basically it prints the next value that comes or that shows after the use of set width in a field of width n and this value would be aligned to the right of that field so let's say for example i have the following statements so let's say i have statement c out set width six and i want to bring the string abc now because i said i want to have 
you know, I want to set or to print ABC in a field of width 6, this is going to create a field which has width 6. And because the default alignment is to the right, ABC would be printed to the right hand side of this field. <clears throat> so A is going to go in the uh, fourth position, B will be in the fifth position, and C will go in the sixth position. And these first three positions, these basically will be basically blanks. So there is nothing printed here. No spaces, nothing, uh, nothing at all. So that's ha that's how that's how you use uh, set width to uh, print a string in a specified in a specified uh, in a specified field or in a field with a specified with a specified width. Let's see another example um, of set width, and this time I have uh, five or six uh, C out statements. Now, as you can see, the first one doesn't use you know doesn't use set width at all. The last uh, five, they would be all use uh, set width uh, five, which basically says that I want to print all of these values here in a field of width uh, five as shown in here. Uh, now, let's see. So, you have the first C out statement. This is just printing the value directly to the screen, so it doesn't use any set width. So, one would basically go in the first position. Uh, of uh, of the screen, so this goes uh, right there. Now, in the second line, because I'm using set width five, so this is going to print the four in a field of width five. So here is a field of width five, and as we said before, the default alignment is to the right. So this is going to print four in the right hand side. Now four is actually of length one so this is basically it has you know it's just a link it's length one because it's a single integer so the first four positions would be blank and four would be printed basically in the right on the last position right here so that's where four is going to be printed the same thing for 16 but now 16 is uh, <clears throat> has length two which means the first three positions will be blank and 16 will be printed right here. So this would be 16. So we'll print have one and then six. Uh, same thing goes for 36 and same thing goes for 64. And for 100, 100 has length uh, three because you have three digits in 100. And this means that you will print the first two uh, positions will be blank and you will have uh, 100 printed starting from the third position. So this is where 100 will be printed. And, uh, you know, uh, if you have, or if this number grows, uh, so for example, let's say that you have, uh, you know, you're printing 1,200 in the next line, and you're using the same set width, you'll have 1,200 printed uh, in this way. And this way, what we get, we get basically a set uh, of numbers that is aligned to the right, to the right hand side, and all of these numbers are printed within, you know, a predefined width, which is in this case, uh, which is in this case five. So this is how set width works, and uh, you know, as you know, uh, or as I've shown you in the uh, first example, that uh, set width is a nice tool if you want to. Uh, format the output or if you want to print output in a nicely formatted way uh, so that's all for now and uh, happy learning